This video has been three years in the making. So I did a video on this back in 2017. It's now 2020. It was actually December of 17. It is December of 2020, the day before Christmas. I actually did a video where I showed you guys uh, the results of letting um, valves sit in different fuel cleaners, right? So after I did that video, I never did anything with the jars. I just let them sit and I've moved since then. And um, I found these a couple days ago and I said, I got to do a video for these guys out here. But uh, one of the major complaints I got in the last video, um, <laughs> pretty, pretty silly comments down there. One of the major complaints I got in the last video was, uh, you're not adding this with gas. It's supposed to activate with gas. So my answer to that, guys, is it, it doesn't turn gas into some special liquid or some special formula. It just enhances the gas. So if, if it can, um, you know, work at a diluted, you know, diluted solution in gas, just think how, how much better the results are going to be um, when you deal full strength. I know I'm going to get hate comments for that as well. Another thing I got was against Berryman and Seafoam. So um, uh, one of the major uh, comments I got about Berryman's and Seafoam, and I'll put links to the description below for these two videos I'm talking about. If you guys haven't seen them, they say, oh, I had, I had gloves on, right? And uh, Berryman's hit the glove and started eating away the glove. And people are saying, well, if it eats away your glove, it's going to eat away your fuel system. Come on, dude, really? Berryman's just celebrated their 100-year anniversary. You really think that if Berryman's ate fuel systems on vehicles that they'd still be in business no they'd be closed down from all the lawsuits that they're facing from all the uh fuel systems they're getting eaten so come on guys use some common sense but one thing i noticed interesting about this is okay so here's the sea foam look how clean that is look at this berryman's and look it's you know i'm not a scientist and the first video i did was out of just curiosity for myself more than anything but this is a lot more dirty than the seafoam is. Seafoam looks almost perfect. Like it didn't do anything. But it's been sitting here for three years. Another weird thing I noticed is that on this gas one, can you guys see all that? It does, I don't know. It doesn't look like rust. It could. I don't know. It might be rust. Because gas isn't 100% pure of impurities. Could be water in there. But um, let's take these out and take a look at them each and every one. Okay, so I'm all set up. I'll take each valve out and then we'll pour uh, the poured liquid into uh, this jar. Some of the um, liquids have gelled, like coagulated. So they're kind of funky looking. But um, I know you guys can't smell this stuff. Some of them smell like, um, not butane, like turpentine. The sea foam smells like rubbing alcohol. Maybe I should be wearing gloves for this. <laughs> Come on. I have another set of valves I could do this to. Okay, not much. There's no missing metal or anything. Looks relatively decent. Pour is the same. Just smells like rubbing alcohol. Okay, let's set up the next one. Okay, decided to put some gloves on. Got these on Amazon. These are some of the best gloves I've found. I'll put a link in the description below. SAS gloves. So here's Lucas. Here's the valve. Some carbon left on there. Let's see how it pours. Seems a little bit thicker than what it started as. I can't even describe the smell. It smells like a cleaner. It smells like a cleaner I used to. It smells like formaldehyde is actually. Okay, one, two. 
here's the gas. Interesting to see the gas. You can see there's flakes in there. Let's see if it's... Oh man, and it smells like, um, it smells like turpentine, like old gas. You can see, well, no, it didn't take over here. You know, I don't know what this stuff is. This must be impurities from the gas. It doesn't look like the, like the valve is rusted or anything really coming off or flaking off of that. Unless there's a layer of steel that came off that I don't know about. Let's see how that one pours. Just pours like gas. Jars after gas. This. Here's the BG44K. Nothing really. The valve looks nice and clean. The BG forty four K when I first poured it, when it, when it was brand new, was pretty thick. So I expect this to be thick or a little bit thicker when I pour it right now. Yeah, a little bit thicker. Next we got is the Berryman's. The Berryman's B12. I still feel carbon here on the stem. It wasn't as clean as a BG44K. That that's, This valve in here was super clean. All this carbon that I'm seeing right here on the stem was gone on the BG44K. That's not bad. Let's see how it pours. No problem. It smells disgusting. And last but not least, Tecron, Chevron Tecron fuel additive. <laughs> Man, that sucker's slippery. Okay, there it is. Wow. This valve right here, the valve stem, nice and clean. Didn't eat any way the metal. It stinks. I don't even know what it smells like. Let's see how it pours. A little bit thicker. Not bad. So these have been these valves have been sitting in this fluid for three years. Three whole years. But like I said, just want to show you the results of this. Of it sitting in here for three years. If I was to um, do a three-year review on this stuff based on the valves and how they look, I would say BG44K first and Chevron with Tecron second. Followed up with Berryman's because it was darker and Seafoam. Let's take a look at Lucas again. Yeah, Lucas just did an all right job. But this Barry, this BG44K is clean. -e -e. If I can get it out. Yeah, I know you guys can't feel that, but it is nice and clean. Party party. Alright, there you go guys. You can see my gloves aren't eating at all.
probably because the chemicals in most of these uh, additives have faded or not as strong as when they initially are made. But um, yeah, I think clear winner out of all these, three years later, BG44K. Hope you guys like this. Leave some comments below. Tell me what you think, and I'll see you guys later.